but the fact that they have not forgotten their roots. And I know Paul Davies, and I know Mr. Maslin and the others will never forget their roots as their comments have indicated today. So the last recipient today will be <coughs> Gilmo Maslin, and to introduce Gil Maslin will be his grandson, Ronald Lamar. Ron? Say about my grandfather. You have to stay on here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the Casa Italia for recognizing my grandfather for inclusion into the Commerce and Industry Hall of Fame. I know he would uh, feel this is very special. I would also like to uh, congratulate the other three honorees, uh, Mr. Balsamo, Mr. Colangelo, and Mr. Davies. I'm sure my grandfather would be very proud to be in the company of. Uh, those three gentlemen. Uh, recently, I was given a book on uh, Chicago Italians at work uh, by Peter Shapiro. And uh, he mentions that a lot has been written about Italians Americans in regards to sports, and crime, and entertainment, and food. But far less has been written about their work. And uh, my grandfather was part of the first wave of Italians to come to this country to work. He arrived in Chicago in 1929. Uh, and undaunted by the enormous challenges of the Great Depression, my grandfather found work at a corrugated box company. He earned 25 cents an hour. After working hard and learning the business, he worked his way up to plant manager. And after 15 years, he went on to found Rex Cotton Company in 1948. My grandfather worked hard, and he believed he could build a business based on quality products, friendships, and loyalty. He succeeded in this, and Rex went from being a 12,000-foot garage to a modern 180,000-foot facility and warehouse that it occupies today. As successful as my grandfather was, the carton business wasn't enough. In 1968, my grandfather bought controlling interest in the Capital Bank of Chicago becoming their chairman. In 1978, he acquired the Capital Bank of Westmont, and in 1968, the bank was a small neighborhood institution. By the time he sold CBC Holding Company in 1997, it had become a very large bank holding company. I think his time was pretty good on that, though, considering the current uh, banking situation. Uh, my grandfather succeeded through hard work and lived the American dream. However, through all his hard work and success, he never forgot where he came from. Family was extremely important to him. His daughter Amy Maslin, his grandchildren, his mother and father, his sisters, nieces, and nephews who he brought up from Italy. He was proud to be an American and successful but he always considered himself an Italian-American businessman. He loved being involved in Italian organizations and clubs and charities. Phyllis Calabrini, Italian Cultural Center, Holy Rosary Church, uh, Mazzini Verdi Club, the Maroons, Vernoy. But he liked nothing more to be, than to be surrounded by family and friends on a Sunday afternoon at the Alpine Gun Club in Round Lake. I wish my grandpa could be here today to receive this award because he loved awards. <laughs> and I know he wanted to thank his family and friends and his business associates who he worked with and admired and respected all these years. But I also know that he'd be the first to say that his Italian heritage was an important part of his life, foundation, and success. I believe he would take tremendous pride in being recognized by the Casa Italia Commerce and Industry Hall of Fame. And as I leave you, I'd like to give you a saying that my grandfather used to tell me all the time. He'd say, if you like what you do, you never have to work a day in your life. And that was my grandfather. Thank you. Thank you very much.